What's up, beautiful family? Hope everyone is having a great Sunday uh, afternoon. So um, I am uptown running some errands. I've got some things to do today, but um, wanted to come on here, just take a quick break, come on here and chat with you guys for a minute, just about all the craziness. <laughs> um, I am going to be very um, vulnerable with you guys today and just let you guys know kind of what I'm going through um, and my thoughts on everything. Um, I know that there are many different opinions out there as to what's going to happen in the coming days. And, you know, I've been thinking about it. You know, you see a lot of Christians um, saying a lot of different things that the Lord spoke to them uh, that you know they're, they're prophesying things. Um, some pastors have even come out and said uh, that they apologize. Um, you know, they saw Trump winning and they've recently come out and apologized because they prophesied those things. And um, I guess they're under the impression that that is definitely not going to happen. So, um, you know, I just, I see a lot of different things out there and it's so, um, it's so stressful and it causes anxiety because there's just so many different things being said. Um, and you know, when it comes to dreams and visions and words from the Lord, right. That people say that they have, um, some of those may be true and some of those may not be true. You know, there's sometimes that people will say that something is from the Lord and they mean well and they believe it's from the Lord, but they didn't test the spirits. They didn't discern um, as they should have and they make a mistake and that happens. You know, there are really, really good hearted Christians out there who mean well that just make mistakes. Um, you know, I think a lot of people think that like Christians who receive dreams and visions from the Lord or a word from the Lord is a prophet. Um, and that's, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's true because, you know, someone who receives a word from the Lord or a vision or a dream doesn't make them any more special than any other Christian that belongs to Christ. Um, it just means that you have the Holy Spirit in you and the Lord is speaking to you like that's a normal common thing if you belong to the Lord if you're a believer like he speaks to all of his children you know and uh while yes there are people out there just literally trying to deceive people why because the word says it you know they're wolves in sheep's clothing um they're amongst the sheep they look like sheep but really inwardly they're ravenous wolves um there really are people out there like that who are saying that they're hearing from the Lord when they're really not, you know, um, and they know it. Uh, but, you know, you just have to discern when you're listening to things. But, you know, um, when it comes to, you know, and there's some Christians that don't, that are content creators like us, you know, they receive, you know, words and visions and dreams from the Lord, but they don't really share it with people. And so it's not as hard. I mean, it is hard because, you know, you have to discern and test the spirits, you know, but, um, when you're a content creator and you're trying to share with others what the Lord has given you um, as the Lord uh, directs you to, it, it, it's scary and it's hard because, you know, I say, the, I say this all the time, but I don't say it just to say it. I say it because I truly mean it. I am the type of person that I overthink everything. I question everything. Um, the Lord gives me something. He'll confirm it and then I still question it because, you know, I'm deathly afraid of being in error. I don't want to be wrong. And so, um, you know, I would never want to say that the Lord has given me a word or given me a dream or a vision and he didn't. And I don't want to say, oh, the Lord said this and put words in his mouth when it really didn't come from him. So I'm just very, um, I'm overly cautious. I overthink everything. I doubt myself because I'm still in this flesh, you know, and sometimes I think I'm crazy <laughs> when I know I'm not because I belong to Christ and the Holy Spirit abides and dwells within me because um, I belong to the Lord and he speaks to all of his children. And so it's always those little, um, you know, words of doubt that get into your ear that is the enemy um, just making you feel like you're crazy and that you're really not hearing from the Lord. And so um, we all battle that. And 
you know, when you see Christians get, you know, as content creators, whoever your favorite YouTuber is that you follow, um, you know, when you see these people come on and they prophesy something that is true <laughs> or, um, or they, they share with you a vision or a dream, I think a lot of people, uh, may think that they're just, they always have confidence in that and, um, and that they don't doubt and that they don't struggle and that they're, they're not wrestling with things like, you know, Lord, was this really you? And I want to be vulnerable with you guys today because I am at a place right now, um, where I received something. Okay. And, uh, you won't hear this often from other people. Uh, but I, re I received something a month ago, guys, and I only shared with, with, shared this with, um, three people. Um, my best friend, Chrissy, uh, and two other, um, people who have YouTube channels. Um, I shared something with them that I had gotten a month ago that I'm still sitting on and trying to discern. And, um, I have not shared it yet, um, until I get the green light from the Lord. And to be honest, I'm wrestling with my flesh, you know, Lord, you know, I've, I've been praying to him over and over and over again, Lord, like, was this really you? Did you give this to me? I need major clarity on this, you know, and it, and it has to do with what's happening right now with the elections. And, you know, there's, it's, it's what I believe that I received, um, definitely is, it, it threw me for a loop. Um, but I'm just in a place right now and I'm just, you know, wanting to be vulnerable and real with you guys because this is like real life. You know, I don't just all the time just receive things and I'm so confident and, you know, I always take things to the Lord. It takes time for me in this time. It's taken a month and I'm still sitting on this because I don't want to share something if it was truly not from the Lord. And, um, and so sometimes we just have to wait on God and because there's so many people right now who are running 90 miles an hour and that's why you're hearing so many different mixed messages and opinions and prophecies that don't line up with one another because people are just running with it and not taking it to God and waiting on him to say, okay, it's time you can share this. Like this is truly for me. You can go ahead and share this. Um, and so right now I'm just, I'm, a, I'm waiting. And, um, because in my mind I'm battling with, you know, I've had every single thought run through my mind that could possibly go through it. Okay. I'm like, Lord, is this really you? Okay. I need confirmation. And then I feel like I've already received my confirmation, but it's like, I'm still doubting myself. And, um, you know, I, I'm battling with, you know, was this just my flesh? Um, was this something that the enemy slipped in and I thought it might've been from you? Um, because what I saw just doesn't line up with everything else that I've been seeing. And, um, and so I've just kind of been waiting on the Lord on this. And, um, you know, what, what I believe that I saw, um, it's crazy because there was a part of it that when I saw it, I didn't even know that that was a thing. <laughs> And later after researching some things, I just was, um, it was kind of confirmed in me what I had saw and I didn't understand what I was seeing at the time. And I know that really doesn't make sense to you guys, but, um, it does to me. And if I get the green light from the Lord, I, I truly will share it with you guys. Um, you know, when it comes to all of this, you know, I, in my last video, I told you guys that, um, from the get go, when all of this started with, you know, with the two running candidates, right? <laughs> um, I have just, I've kept saying to my brothers and sisters and I've text messages going back 
saying that something just doesn't feel right. Something feels off. And up until a month ago, I had received nothing, nothing from the Lord whatsoever as far as Trump goes, as far as Biden goes, I, nothing. Um, up until a month ago. And I kept asking the Lord, like, why? Why would you show me this and then not give me the boldness to speak out on what I saw? And I have just been taking that as it's not time for me to share it yet. And, um, but I've been saying from the get go, like something just doesn't feel right with Biden getting in. And I just feel like something big is about to happen. Something is about to pop off and I don't know what it is, but sometimes we're just not meant to figure it all out. And I know a lot of people are trying to figure it out. You know, watch this video, watch that video, um, listen to this, listen to that, look at what this person says. But I was reminded a couple days ago, um, again, of Lazarus. You know, he was dead in the tomb for four days. And I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving this story to, you know, try to prove to you guys that, you know, I believe Trump is going to win. I'm just saying, um, Lazarus was dead for four days, right? And they cried to Jesus. They said, Jesus, Lazarus is dead. And they told him what happened. And so they go up to the tomb and Jesus tells them to roll the tomb away. And so they did. But then they got to a point where they couldn't do anything else. They rolled the tomb away like Jesus said. And then they stood there because Lazarus was dead. They couldn't do anything else. And so they had to wait on the power of Jesus Christ to raise Lazarus from the dead. And so I just feel like the Lord is just telling us to stop and to just wait, watch and wait to see what Jesus, Jesus is going to do, whatever that may be or whatever it may look like. Whether it's Biden getting in or whether it's Trump getting in or whether it's some kind of war that's going to break out or whatever it is, I can't put my finger on it, but I know I'm not alone when I say this. Something doesn't feel right. Something feels off. I feel like something is about to happen. And every time I go to the Lord, I pray to the Lord, I talk to the Lord about these feelings that I'm having internally about, you know, Biden getting in and everything just going back to nor normal, whatever normal really even looks like, right? It just feels off. Something is off in my spirit and I can't shake it, but I don't know what that is. And I understand that we're not supposed to know what that is. And so whatever God has planned, we watch and we wait for him to move and know that whatever he has planned is just pushing us closer to prophecy and what is supposed to happen anyways to the rapture of the church to the seven years of tribulation to the second coming jesus is coming he's coming so soon and i was just reminding people yesterday on my instagram that as you see all of these things happen look up like be excited and I know a lot of people are hearing a lot of other uh, mixed opinions on, you know, I've been hearing left and right. People have been trying to tell me that Jesus is not coming, that he's not coming to rescue us. He's forgot about us. Get ready to go through the tribulation. Get ready to die for your faith. Get ready to have your head chopped off. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Stock up food, blah, blah, blah. Okay. At the end of the day, I am so sorry but these people are liars. Either they're deceived and they just don't understand and they don't know, okay? Or they just don't know the heart of the Father. At the end of the day, the Word says that we're not appointed to God's wrath. But like, if you truly know God, God and you know His heart, you would know that like, that's not even something, I've never even questioned that. Never, not once. Like, my flesh does a lot of crazy things and always lets me down. But the one thing I've never questioned God as far as, well, I guess it's post-trib. I guess he's really not coming till you know, I guess we're really just going to have to die for our faith. I'm not saying that we shouldn't prepare for things uh, because I don't know how much more we're going to see. But are we going to go through the seven years of tribu tribulation and be tested and die for our faith? No. Why? Because God says so. And I know his heart. 
That's not something that his children are going to have to go through. So if you're listening to those lies, turn it off, tune it out. Like, don't listen to that. Um, is it, is it okay to go out and buy, you know, a couple weeks worth of food and things that you would need for your home? Sure. Absolutely. But don't get so caught up and carried away in your flesh thinking that like, you're just going to have to rely on yourself and the food that you have in the pantry. You know what I mean? Like put your faith in your trust in God and know that he's got you. Like we may have to see a couple things. Maybe we'll see a blackout. I don't know. Like I really don't know. Okay. But I know at the end of the day that God tells me not to worry. Like cast all of my anxieties on him because he's got us. Everything's going to be okay. And so I put my trust and my faith in him when he says those things. And you know, if you don't feel like you trust him, if you don't feel like you have that faith and that confidence in him, then say, Lord, I'm struggling with this. Like, I need faith. I, help me put my trust in you because I'm not feeling it right now. Just be real with him, you know? Um, and if you're questioning, like, pre or post trip, go to the word. Just the other day, somebody was on my uh, Facebook um, saying that, trying to talk, basically trying to say that, we needed to prepare and please go listen to this channel. And I stopped right there and I commented back and I said, stop leaning on man's understanding because when you do that, that's when you're going to trip and fall. Um, because I think this person was trying to basically say that like, we're going to have to go through the tribulation. And I told her and like, she again repeated like, well, go, please go check out this channel. Listen to this. Per stop. Like, even this channel, I am so thankful for you guys and happy that you guys um, listen to what I have to say. But at the end of the day, like always take things to God, like always discern, like take everything to Jesus. And if you're worried about pre-trip or post-trip or what's going to happen, or are you leaving us here? Are you coming for us? Like go to the word and see what God has to say. Stop going to other channels and trying to find your answers. Jesus says, don't lean on man's understanding. Why? Because you can't trust it. You can't trust everything. I mean, some people may be right about some things, but don't lean on man to be your teacher. Like go straight to the word and let God guide you and be your teacher, you know? Um, and so, you know, I, the only thing that gets me through everything that's happening and seeing like all these things around me, like continually get worse is, is, is the promises of God and knowing that he's the same, um, today as he was yesterday and he doesn't change. And when he says that he truly is coming for us and that we're not appointed to his wrath, um, and that the, the rapture of the church is the blessed hope. Why would it be the blessed hope if we had to go through the tribulation and die for our faith? You know what I mean? Um, unfortunately that is going to be for the people who didn't believe on Jesus. Um, before the rapture of the church. They're going to have to die for their faith. A lot of people are going to have to deny the mark of the beast and die for their faith. It's it's unfortunate, but it's the reality of like the things to come. Um, and so the rapture of the church, it is our blessed hope. It's our escape. Um, Jesus truly is coming. And like I said, that's, that's the only thing that I put my hope, my hope and my faith in. Because without that, yeah, it would be doom and gloom. <laughs> And it would be terrible because there would be no hope for us. Um, the only hope that is found is in Jesus Christ and him alone. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come in here and just like open up to you guys and let you know that I am struggling right now um, with something that I believe that the Lord showed me. Um, because I've never had a vision quite like this. Um, I've, I feel like I've always been bold in, in sharing things with you guys, but I don't have that boldness right now. And so I'm just going to sit and, and, and wait and watch um, God move. And if he says, okay, go ahead and share this, um, then I'm going to do so. But if I end up being wrong and it was a, a mistake, then so be it. At least I didn't let it out into the world, you know. Um, but I just want you guys to know that, like, everybody struggles. And, um... If, if you have received something or you think that you have received something from the Lord and, you know, you're in a place where, like, you're questioning yourself and, like, because I think everybody just thinks, like, you should, you should just know, like, you know what I mean? You should just know that's from the Lord every single time. You shouldn't doubt. You, you should have confidence, you know, but 
if that were the case every time, then why would the Lord say that you need to test the spirits and discern, you know? Because there are other influences like your own flesh or the enemy that can that, that can creep in and make you think that something that you received um, is from the Lord when it's not. And unfortunately, um, there's a lot of people, a lot of people um, that just think that everything they're receiving is from the Lord and there's no mistake. You know, you know what I mean? Um, you just have to be very, very, very careful. And this time I've been careful for a month and I'm going to keep sitting on it until the Lord says go. Um, so just be very careful with everything that you're listening to. Um, and if you start to find yourself overwhelmed with everything, draw back. Okay. What I've been doing is if I start to feel anxiety, um, start to feel those heart palpitations, got my monitor on, by the way, I have to have this thing on for, um, until the 20th. Um, but they're just monitoring like the heart palpitations or whatever. But if you start to feel anxiety and all that coming on, right, um, draw back, get out of it and resort back to your first love, Jesus, and get into the word because that inner peace that just, you guys know what I mean? Like just that inner peace that just, when everything else else is, is chaos around you, you just, that inner peace that you feel inside, that's that's only something that you can get from the Lord. And sometimes we have to unplug from all of this around us and plug back into the word and into God and let him nourish us and, and, and fill us back up um, because it's getting crazy out there, y'all. I really thought last year, or I really thought about two years ago when I first started watching that, oh yeah, it's really time, right? <laughs> no, the end of 2020 and like the start of 2021, it's it was it's been like zero to a hundred real fast, and uh, it's going to continually get worse. But rejoice in that, and find peace in that, and rest in that, because Jesus said all these things would happen. Okay, so as you see it continually get worse, um, rejoice because Jesus is coming. Um, so I love you all so much, and. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish up what I have to do today and get back home. And I'm sure I'll talk to y'all soon. All right, see ya.